so today I am taking you with me as I decorate my home for the holiday season uh, we're gonna do some decorating and this year uh, I had no idea what I was doing I'm not gonna lie other than I just I know that I like to decorate in kind of a darker decor so I like to bring black and white sometimes metallic elements something a little bit on the darker side though I knew I wanted it to be a little bit of a darker holiday feel but I didn't really know I mean okay I kind of wanted to originally do a lantern vibe just like all lanterns everywhere and it didn't work out at all anyways longest story longer <laughs> we are decorating my home for the holidays today uh, so I hope you're excited to see it. I'm excited to show you. Before I get into this video though, I wanted to mention the sponsor for today's video. Today's video is sponsored by one of my favorite streaming services. Today's video is sponsored by Shudder. Um, Shudder, if you haven't heard me jab my jaws about Shudder before because I literally can't stop talking about them. Shudder is a horror and thriller streaming service. They have all sorts of spooky content. They have movies, they have documentaries, they have series, they have their own exclusive content you can't find anywhere else. They have slasher movies, Movies. they have supernatural horror, they have revenge type movies, they have sci-fi type movies, they have horror comedies. And right now during the holiday season, they also have like an unhappy holiday collection, a whole collection of spooky holiday movies. They also have, I'm so excited to say this, they have a Christmas ghoul log. If you've been around here for a while when I've talked about Shudder, then you know I'm already obsessed with the ghoul log. Well, right now they have the Christmas ghoul log wearing a Santa hat in front of a Yule log. And there's like a whole little fireplace mantle situation, a little Krampus. It's all, oh my gosh, once again, a spooky situation. So anyways, Shudder is $5.99 a month or $56.99 a year. But right now you can try Shudder free for 30 days. If you go to Shudder, dot com and enter promo code jade and you do need to go to the website to enter the promo code to get the 30 days free and then from there you can stream unlimited spooky content from your ios or android devices also xbox one amazon fire tv google chromecast and roku so to get started streaming the best horror thriller and supernatural content with shutter's expertly curated collection including must-see titles like vicious fun the Mortuary Collection, and PG Psycho Gorman, which is one of our personal favorites, plus all the best horror documentaries and the hit Creepshow TV series from executive producer Greg Nicotero from The Walking Dead. Once again, you can try Shudder free for 30 days if you go to Shudder.com and enter code JADE. It's J-A-D-E. Love, love, love Shudder. Dallas and I have been huge fans. We watch tons of horror. Nothing beats a really cold evening, um, curled up under the covers with my dogs and my husband. Just a full on Shudder movie marathon. But yeah, definitely check out Shudder if you've been looking for some good stuff to watch during the holiday season and you like a good spooky vibe. Anyways, we're gonna get started decorating. I hope you're ready. I'm excited for you to see it. If you wanna see how I decorated my home for the holidays, then just keep watching. All right, we're starting off with my favorite space to decorate in the whole house, the mantle. And I had a bunch of that Spanish moss stuff that we had used during Halloween season for that witch theme. It had left some dusty, crusty remnants, so we had to go in and give it a good clean. So of course I went in with my handy dandy Dyson, and then I went in and sprayed it down with some of my favorite Mrs. Myers. This is the apple cider scent, smells like a whole apple cinnamon, oh man, explosion. It's amazing. Anyways, moving on to decorating. Had no idea what I was gonna do <laughs> with this decor. Uh, I thought about doing a whole lantern theme and just doing all lanterns, and then I didn't really have enough lanterns of different sizes and everything to do it, so I'm, I'm putting that on the back burner for a different year. So I was back to square one, but I knew I wanted to do something with a dark aesthetic. And I and I also knew I wanted to do something with these little houses that I had gotten from Target. Some of them I had gotten during the Halloween season and some of them I had gotten during their Christmas season or their Christmas decor line or whatever. Uh, but I knew I wanted to do like a little town, like a little dark holiday town. So a light bulb went off and I decided to do a holiday town, like a dark aesthetic holiday town on my mantle. And especially with the white mantle, with the black houses and branches and all that, I just in my mind thought it would look like a silhouette. So that way when it's all lit up at night, it almost looks like a shadow, like a silhouette, like a horizon of a dark aesthetic holiday town. I'm sure you get the idea by now, but I'm just getting all excited about it. 
So I started adding all the different houses and some lanterns and branchy trees and candles and stuff like that. Uh, also little ceramic trees and an owl and everything started looking like it was all the same height. And I really like to mix in different heights and different textures. So I added the nutcracker that I got from Michaels this year and spray painted. We did that during a vlog this year, but I also felt like the center needed something a little bit taller, more of a focal point in the center. So I dug out this spooky house that I got from when I think I got it from home goods a couple years ago during Halloween season. I have absolutely no shame in my Halloween repurposing game. I love repurposing Halloween. Halloween decorations for all year round decorations, Christmas decorations, all the things. These branchy trees are also from Target during Halloween season. And to break up the branchy trees a little bit, I did boost a couple of them up, like the ones that are next to the house in the center. I boosted them up on some candle pedestals. That way you can get some variation between levels of branchy trees so they don't look all one height. I also mix different trees, like some are glittery, some are velvet, so that way I can have a variation. Also added some of these velvet reindeer I got from Target this year. And as I was placing these deer, I was trying to consider where the antlers were gonna go and just the different silhouette. Like I was considering the silhouette as a whole. So I didn't want too many things on the mantle, which you know I love a good cluttered mantle if you've been here for a while. But I really wanted to see all the different elements against the mantle, whether it was the like during the day, during the white backdrop, or lit up at night. I wanted to see all the little elements, the deer, these little cool little snow globe branchy tree, uh, what are they? Uh, stocking holders, which I got from Home Goods last year, the lanterns, the houses, the branches, everything. I wanted to see all the elements. So I did think about that as I was kind of, I wanted to leave enough space between everything. All right, we're already moving on. Here I'm putting up a creepy cloth. Uh, I got this from Target once again during Halloween season. Uh, got this creepy cloth that I put on just to kind of give that darker feel and also to make these white faux fur stockings kind of pop because everything else is kind of white so they don't really stand out. All right, moving on. We're already moving on to the floor. Starting once again with the branchy trees, I always say when in doubt, add branchy trees. I had no idea what I was doing on the floor here. I was thinking branchy trees and lanterns since I still had some lanterns. Uh, since that was the theme I was going to do. Uh, so I put some lanterns, some branchy trees, also this candle pedestal. It's a deer candle pedestal I got from Joanne's last year and spray painted black. Also added my black sheep from Grandin Road and also some random lanterns that were from around Halloween time. And then I decided to scratch all of this. I remembered I had these cloches from around Halloween season. I bought two of these from Target and I decided I wanted to put some candles in these and do more of... I I don't know, just this whole different vibe with it. And I really, really love these, prefer these over the lanterns. So I got all excited about those because it, it, to me, it still has a holiday feel well, a darker holiday feel. I don't know. Maybe it's Halloween. This is all Halloween. Who am I kidding? All right. Anyways, we're decorating for Halloween. Here, I'm just playing around with some holiday pillows uh, that went with the ones I got from Walmart. These black and white cottage, once again, kind of goes with the darker aesthetic uh, town cottage vibe. Whatever, I still can't get over the fact that we basically just decorated the whole mantle for Halloween 2.0, but that's all right. Anyways, moving on to the dining room, I wanted to go for more of a winter wonderland. Once again, kind of a silhouette look. So I added some bottle brush trees and whites and silvers and light grays for a lighter backdrop. And then I put this velvet deer in front of it, this black velvet deer and these black candlestick holders to kind of create once again, that kind of dark aesthetic silhouette look. And then I decided since I had that deer and the candlestick holders and all those were black, I decided to put this creepy cloth, this like gauzy cloth down. I get these from Dollar Tree every year, uh, once again around Halloween season, but thought this would be kind of cool. I thought it'd be a cool contrast between the white table and the trees and kind of pull everything together. And I actually really enjoyed it. I, I don't know if I expected the creepy cloth to not look creepy, but I don't think it looked creepy at all. I think it really pulled everything together, added a couple more silver trees. And these are just trees I've collected over the years. I think the white bottle brush trees. Those are new though this year. Got those from Home Goods. Also decided to switch out the trees in the back uh, because I wanted to see more of the silhouette of the important stuff like the actual head of the deer and the antlers and all that kind of stuff. So I switched out the two so you could really get a good look at that silhouette. Uh, and I really am so happy with how this turned out. I feel like creepy cloth is the new fake snow, but maybe that's just me. <laughs> uh, anyways, working on this little buffet table area area. Put down another creepy cloth and some more trees. All of these trees I've collected over the years from various places. 
mostly home goods, but you can get them really anywhere. I've seen them all over the place. Um, and then I added these two carolers that my grandparents got us. And they go perfect in this space because they're wearing this like white and silver outfit. You can't really see the silver detail on camera, but they're perfect for this little area. And you'll see I ended up adding some polar bears to the little buffet table area. And then you'll see everything all lit up here at the end. Not going to lie, it's my favorite part. But right now we're moving on to the kitchen. I'm swapping out all my supplies, my cleaning supplies with my Mrs. Meyer seasonal stuff, my peppermint smelling stuff. I love this. You know, you know. Also plugging in my snowflake plug-in. Got that from Bath and Body Works this year. Uh, also, my kitchen, once again, wanted to do a whole black and white aesthetic. I do have color coming up. Don't worry if you like colorful stuff. So I added some velvet trees I got from Hobby Lobby, I think last year. Also, this uh, penguin that I, uh, ceramic penguin I put between my two black and white canisters. Also, I was playing around with these nutcrackers I got from Walmart this year. Ultimately, I wanted to put them next to my sink with the trees. So that's where they ended up going. And I ended up doing a couple other things, just some little holiday black and white things around my stove. I just didn't want to melt or damage those nutcrackers. So I tried to keep it away from the stove area and the heat. And then just adding some festive final touches with some coffee pods and this little silver tree. And this is how my kitchen turned out. Just black and white and clean and simple, just how I like it. So we're moving on now to the little bar area. And the bar area in my home is between the kitchen and the living room. It's kind of closer to that. You'll see the Christmas tree on the right-hand side, which is more of a colorful vibe you'll see here in a bit. So I love doing my Harry Potter theme here on my bar area. I have a Hogwarts castle and some interactive Harry Potter ornaments that my stepmom has given me over the years for my birthday. Uh, so one year I want to have a Harry Potter tree, but for now I love these little interactive ornaments, kind of setting them out on the bar. Got this sorting hat this year. I'm so excited about that. It's like a whole interactive talking sorting hat, but I love having them on the bar area for now until I have enough to do a whole tree with. Uh, and I also repurposed that skull pedestal because it lights up and the lights kind of go with the Hogwarts castle. So I thought it all kind of pulled in plus Death Eater, all that kind of stuff. But anyways, just love doing a fun little colorful Harry Potter area. It's one of my favorite areas every year to do. All right, where are we going next? We are going to my mud room, which this is kind of where you walk in from the garage. Hung up this black fern wreath, this little cathedral window kind of frame thing, and then this snowflake. This is a new piece this year, snowflake rug that I got from Walmart this year. And this is my first time kind of decorating this space for Christmas. So I kind of like this darker uh, holiday vibe and this can go through the winter. So I'm happy about this. All right, moving on to a colorful feel. I don't have a lot of color in my decor, if you can't tell, but in my bathroom, I still go with a classic Christmas look because I've got a green bathroom, got to go with it. Uh, so I put this Christmassy silverish wreath on the wall. The wreath is from Target forever ago. And I think the sign that I put on it is from, I want to say Dollar Tree, but I can't remember. Next to the sink, I put these candy cane trees I got from Michael's a couple years ago. And also a Mr. and Mrs. Claus holding presents. I put those next to the little candy cane trees. So a whole red and green vibe in this bathroom. Also put in a little plug-in and the snowman Christmas countdown I got from Target literally probably 500 years ago, not that long, but a long time ago. And also this towel that's also from Target 500 years ago. And then above the toilet, put this little peppermint tree and red deer. I don't remember where the red deer is from, but the peppermint tree is from Michael's. And then I also put this little white garland around it because it kind of secures the deer so it doesn't fall in the toilet, first of all. <laughs> but also because I kind of like wrap it between its legs and everything. Uh, but also it kind of looks like snow. I thought that was kind of cute. So I don't know. Look at me decorating with color, y'all. I'm getting into it. Also put down this rug, once again from Target 500 years ago. Matches the towel that's hanging up. And speaking of more festive, colorful decor, I wanted to put this here because this is kind of a miscellaneous area. It's between my kitchen and my living room. I have this little display shelf area, a little bookshelf area, and I thought this would be perfect to put my carolers on. And I love telling this story every year. So my grandparents started collecting these carolers a long, long time ago. And when I was a little kid, I'd love going over to their house and looking at all their carolers and making up little stories about them. It was so magical. I loved it so much. And when Dallas and I went to my grandparents' house to see all their holiday decorations, he got to see them for the first time, which their Christmas decorations are beautiful. He saw all the carolers. We decided that we wanted to carry on the tradition and have our own carolers. So we have newer carolers. Also, my grandparents have given us some of their carolers. So we have new stories 
stories, older stories, and they're all coming together. It's so, so special to us. I'm a super nostalgic person. I'm not going to lie. I love a good story. Um, we have some more around the house as well. Uh, but yeah, that's kind of this little shelf area. Okay, now I'm putting together the tree. This is my $20 Walmart clearance number, and it is still going strong. So I'm putting together my tree, putting the legs on and wrestling the tree, and then I'm gonna fluff it and do all the, well, first I gotta put it together, which that's not the hardest part, but the legs like to fall all over the place and it likes to hit me in the face and you know, you gotta wrestle with it first. Then you get to fluff it. All right, maybe maneuver it around, wrestle it again, then fluff it. Here we go, we're fluffing the tree. We got Neen's here for moral support. She's in her spooky blankets, boycotting Christmas. And I'm just telling her how good of a girl she is and fluffing my tree. And this was one of my jobs growing up was fluffing fluffing the garland. I don't know if I got to fluff the tree, but I definitely get, I got to fluff garland and bows. Like my mom would reuse bows. And that was my job was to fluff everything. Let me know if you had to do the same thing down in the comments, or if you like this task or absolutely cannot stand it and dread it. Anyways, here we're putting on the star first because this star is enormous and it takes up a lot of the tree. So I got to get a good visual. This is actually a lamp from Ikea several years ago. I spray painted black. This is the lampshade part never ended up using it and just used it as a tree star and I love it. So once I secure my star, I start putting on my ornaments and I, you know, I, for so long I wanted a black tree, but I love the look of black ornaments. And don't get me wrong, I still want a black tree with just different ornaments, but with this tree, I ended up doing kind of similar to what is going on on my mantle where it's a lighter backdrop and then I use all black ornaments to kind of create a silhouette look. Uh, you can really see the black ornaments pop when they're lit by like a lighter background. Uh, so here I have different black ornaments, different starburst. I have some deer. I also throw in some spooky elements because you know it ends up kind of being like a pastel goth look in the end because I put a couple of bats in there. Got these bats from Target this year. They fit in here perfectly because they've got a little string that they hang on or whatnot. Uh, so it ended up being the perfect kind of little ornament in there. Also some little lanterns that I got off Amazon this year. Saw this lantern idea actually on the Facebook group. So if you came up with this, shout out to you for coming up with this because I loved the look of the lanterns on the tree. Uh, so I got some little lanterns on Amazon to hang on here. Oh, then I put on this tree skirt. This is new this year. This black and white striped tree skirt. This just took it to another level. I wish I would have gotten the larger one. I didn't know what size I needed. This tree isn't that big. So I thought, oh, maybe the smaller one, but I should have gotten the bigger one. Uh, and here I am plugging in the tree for the grand finale. It just looks so magical. This is my favorite part. That's pretty much it. I think I'm just gonna show a bunch of before and after images now. So you'll see it all lit up during the day, how everything looks all with the lights on or lit up. And then I'm gonna show you how everything looks at night so you can see everything with all the different lights and tree and the mantle and everything. So anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you can give it a thumbs up. Say hey, ghoul, hey, down in the comments because you know I love talking to you. Also let me know what kind of theme you went for this year or maybe your favorite ornaments or I don't know anything any special holiday memories down in the comments anyways thank you so much for decorating with me and thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys next time